Hi, my name is Christina Grasse from Green Globe. Today we're here at Leipziger Messe and I'm welcoming Mr. Kaldenhoff. Welcome to Leipziger Messe. Um, so my name is Andre Kaldenhoff. Um, I'm responsible uh, at Leipziger Messe for uh, the Congress business. Uh, and as the name says, uh, Leipziger Messe stands for uh, doing exhibitions and congresses. That's our main focus. Uh, we also have a couple of uh, service companies. Uh, so we are doing our own catering, we are doing our uh, own event services, and we are also doing uh, our own uh, stand building, which is very important for exhibition companies. Only in 2010, Leipziger Messe decided uh, to start its, uh, uh, its um, sustainability initiative, and we decided, uh, after you know a long thinking, uh, to do this together with uh, Green Globe as an organization. Uh, we've been successful actually, and uh, we have been re-audited in 2011. And what was really surprising for us that we were able to fulfill um, already 90% uh, of all. Uh, the different things Green Globe uh, uh, wants to see. In which areas uh, did you have changes and what uh, is the success? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so when we decided to take the uh, Green Globe certificate, um, we decided actually uh, for a certificate uh, that not, not only stands for green issues, because the conference business, they quite often talk about green meetings, but we thought that's uh, a little bit too short uh, and we wanted to uh, really do something uh, on the corporate social responsibility and that's actually the reason uh, why uh, uh, we uh, took over the Green Globe uh, certification uh, and uh, we were able uh, to first of all discover what we have done so far which was quite a lot um, and then and that was the main reason for us to take Green Globe because it's not uh, a one-time uh, evaluation so it's an ongoing process uh, and you have to improve. Uh, so what we did so far and where we were quite successful um, that we actually uh, started a campaign uh, which involved uh, our staff uh, quite heavily. Uh, so everybody was able to uh, think about uh, his own working uh, place, uh, how he does things uh, and so we took everything together uh, and tried to improve that. Uh, for example, we were able to uh, do a couple of technical things, improvements in the technical area, uh, for example with our air conditioning system uh, where we were able to uh, you know, save a lot of energy just by a couple of little, little measurements. Uh, we uh, we actually um, um, did a lot with our catering company mm -hmm. because one of our subsidiary companies uh, does all the catering here in that place. Uh, we decided to uh, start fair products like uh, coffee for example, a lot of people coming to fairs and conventions drink coffee and we uh, became a member of this fair trade initiative mm -hmm. so all coffee brewed here uh, at Leipziger Messe is fair traded mm -hmm. which we think is very important. Uh, again we started an initiative uh, to create more uh, products on our own so our um, staff, our people who work here uh, can buy for home, a couple of things like marmalade, uh, like soups even, etc. Uh, and we uh, really believe that the involvement of uh, our people, of our staff, uh, is the key to success. What are your future goals in this area? Um, so everybody in the world is talking about saving energy. I think uh, especially with a company uh, like uh, a fair uh, company, uh, we can do a lot uh, of uh, still doing a lot of new technologies in order to save energy. Uh, Europe has abundant uh, normal lamps, uh, so I think we have to put a lot of effort in doing that in order to save energy. Uh, but there is also a very, very main focus on, uh, on growth with every company and um, we have developed actually uh, when we did this certificate, we have developed uh, our own slogan, uh, which is called Growing in Balance. And that means that we want to grow, uh, but we don't want to waste uh, too many things. Uh, and as I said earlier, you can only do that together with your people. And uh, that's why we uh, actually implemented a couple of really nice uh, things uh, for our staff. For example, um, you know, um, the uh, 
lot of uh, our, a lot of our employees um, um, are young and have families, and uh, we have a lot of uh, you know cooperations with uh, childcare. Uh, we have installed a program. Uh, on health development, so uh, we did uh, a workshop for the whole day uh, where people, where our staff was able to um, to uh, go to um, uh, to doctors and uh, uh, have a checkup, uh, and uh, so we start now to implement uh, measures uh, in order to you know uh, make the life of our staff a little healthier than mm -hmm. before. Uh, but that's on all on a free basis. So, um, but uh, that's that's our main goals for the future. What do your clients think about your certification? How do they react? Um, so in a service oriented company you are always driven by your customers. Uh, when we are doing uh, requests for proposals, for example, two-thirds of uh, the uh, RFPs we are doing, um, sustainability or green issues play a very, very important role. So how we touch sustainability issues, customers really force us uh, to be as concrete as we can be uh, what we do on sustainability. 